Ramsgate Port is finished. It's technically insolvent. According to Thanet Council's independently audited accounts, the port has lost £7.6 million over the last three years. That's the equivalent of £110 for every council tax paying household in, in, in the district. It just doesn't make economic sense to prop up, using council tax money, a port that's losing money and over fist. But it gets worse. In the last financial year, 2016 and 17, the council spent somewhere in the region of about £3 million updating and upgrading the berths uh, at Ramsgate Port. And on top of that, there's also been an operating loss somewhere in the region of another £2 million. So what you've got over the past four years at Ramsgate Port is operating losses and the cost of investment uh, on the berths of somewhere in the region of £12 million. So the question's got to be asked, is that £12 million money well spent? Well, I don't think so. Over the past four years, the only activity going on in this port is live animal exports, the GEFCO car importation contract that lasted for just a year, and the Brett aggregates operation that's been going on here for 10 years. And taken together, they don't generate enough money to pay for the operational costs of running this port. No wonder the port is technically insolvent. But hang about a bit, Thanet Council's got different ideas. It says that all of the investment it's made in the port in the last year to the berths uh, are going to make the port a very, very attractive proposition for future ferry operators. And they say quite convincingly that they believe that they will have a, a ferry operator here quite quickly. But to be polite to Thanet Council, that actually is so much rubbish. Trans Europa ferries went bust almost four years ago to the day, owing Thanet Council £3.4 million in unpaid berthing fees and other costs. If a ferry operator was going to come back to Ramsgate, I believe it would have come back a long, long time ago, not four years after the last operator went bust. I think Thanet Council is living in cloud cuckoo land if it believes seriously that it can attract a new ferry operator to the port of Ramsgate. And here's why, we're at the port of Dover, less than 20 miles away from Ramsgate. As you can see, it's one of the busiest ports in Northern Europe. And it's set to become even bigger and even busier because this year sees the beginning of a £200 million three-year programme to expand and grow the port of Dover. And there's just no way that Ramsgate Port would be able to compete for ferry trade against a maritime colossus like Dover. It's not going to happen. So what's the answer? Well, I think the council should stop looking backwards and hoping against expectation that we'll get a ferry operating from the port again. It should stop trying to develop the dirty, polluting aggregate works that we've got here. It should stop trying to turn the port into a waste transfer station and it should start looking at new modern uses for the port that will create job opportunities, investment opportunities and training opportunities for local people. And what are these new ideas likely to be? Well more and more people are beginning to realise that Ramsgate and Thanet's future depends upon a, a revival of the tourist economy and just last year it was estimated that the tourist economy generated £293 million in a year and created 7,000 jobs and a lot of that extra money and a lot of those jobs were created here in Ramsgate around our seafront, especially the harbour. Uh, and many people I speak to think that the port should be turned into a leisure focused area with bars, with cafes, with restaurants, with workshops 
a fisherman's wharf selling fresh fish, uh, apartments and, and educational and, and exhibition facilities rather than a heavily industrialised, dirty and polluting eyesore. And if you elect me to Kent County Council on the 4th of May, I will work my hardest to ensure that Ramsgate Port does become a leisure area because I believe that the visitor economy and the leisure industry is the way forward for prosperity in Ramsgate.